friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on October 4th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to The Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. A look at earthquakes and a world weather. Starting out here looking at the last 48 hours on our sun. Very active, as we have observed five M-class solar flares and one and X-class solar flare over the past 72 hours on our star. Last 48 hours showing all of the events. Look at the incoming imagery here. Left side, that was those plasma filaments I was talking about did collapse in the southern hemisphere, and that was noted yesterday. But we also saw another collapse in the southern hemisphere. Watch on the right-hand side as those dark striped lines are your plasma filaments plasma ropes stretching across and let's go right there so active sunspot regions we have five of them that are earth facing right now observing here at another light all of the images amazing imagery here solar dynamics observatory but watch that large plasma filament to take off towards us we are expecting a large space weather event within the next 48 hours, if not 36 hours. Looking at multi-spectrum at all of the events. Very active solar cycle 25. And we are already above the predicted sunspot values that NASA made back before the cycle started. Looking at another light here. Notable sunspot regions here you can really see the effects to the heliosphere of our sun and an even closer look at the plasma arcs stretching across the sun blasting out and diving back in to the surface amazing times we are living in and i'm grateful to have you all here thanks for tuning in every day to daily events worldwide let's have a look at the solar x-ray flux it remains in c-class range after another m-class flare today so that's six m-class solar flares geomagnetic activity slightly elevated sitting at about 517 kilometers per second as right now we are going through g2 geomagnetic storm impacts right now and as well minor radio radio blackouts being detected this is the aurora forecast for the next 24 hours across the planet most of canada will see some northern lights tonight having a look at lasco 3 at all of the energy taking off from the sun this is all plasma cosmic charged particles and accelerated solar winds all coming our way that's right folks this is coming our way these were all earth directed events we have five if not six sunspot regions to talk about right now in a view and look at all the energy that they are producing wow and you've got venus on the right hand side coming into view Space weather effects, earthquakes, volcanoes, mines, and hearts. Have a look at a real time solar wind. As I said, just about 530 kilometers per second. And we topped out at about 606 kilometers per second. But notable here is the density yet again as we are sustained at 15 bunches per cubic meter. ISWA space prediction spiral showing the latest event from yesterday coming right at us but then watch this large filament eruption as it changes the iswa space prediction spiral as we have a large event coming our way massive plasma filament rips away from the sun and is now heading towards earth and so is all that energy as you can see in that spiral the red and the pink That is some high energy 
solar activity coming our way right there and right here. So yeah, we are going to be expecting this event to continue over the next three days. Look at that sunspot number progression. We're sitting at 54 in October. Or sorry, through September to October. Predicted values over the next little while are going to be up into 118 per month. Schumann resonance for today is a power of 7. A nice healthy low power yet again. Yesterday 6. So we're steady. Quality of 9.8 and a power of 3. Now let's get to earthquakes here the past 24 hours. Most recently here, south of Japan in the Bowen and Islands region, 4.4 earthquake. As we saw imagery of Nishinashima right in the area of Volcano Islands has erupted and has been erupting for three days now. As well, Marianas Island, Marianas Trench, Mutsu, Japan, 4.4. As well, a 4.6 here reported in Sichuan, China, Western Sichuan. 4.5, Indonesia, 127 kilometer depth, notable. As well, a couple of pretty deep earthquakes today in the Fiji region, 4.2, 577 kilometer depth, and as well, 529 kilometer depth, 4.2. Nothing too big to talk about. Minor activity through Hawaii, minor normal activity across the North American plate right now. Nothing particular or swarms, largest through the region being the 3.6 there, Delta Max, BC border. Earthquakes continue, Rekha Jane's Ridge. Got to wonder what's up there. Interesting earthquake today. Dominican Republic, La Ramona, 4.1, 178 kilometer depth though. Watching that region as we have volcanoes showing signs of unrest through the Caribbean. And San Antonio de la Cobros, the most notable earthquake today. Otherwise quiet through South America. And as well notable here, a 4.2 earthquake in Melida, Spain, 4.2 as well. Morocco reporting a 4.9 and that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes a quick browse at the last seven days sometimes we get some new viewers and this shows exactly what our planet is going through for earthquakes over the past seven days and i always take a moment just now just to say thank you for watching today inviting me into your living room and as well for possibly sharing much love and prayers for humanity I love what I do here on YouTube, and I love all of you. You've helped me through some of the hardest times throughout my life. So kudos to everyone. Hashtag do crew, hashtag no fear here. Now let's get to world weather, brought to you by Ventu Sky and of course daily events worldwide. We're going to start out here overlooking the east coast of the United States as low pressure system Ian is still turning and getting ready to go into the Atlantic Ocean took quite some time widespread showers through central United States and south towards Texas a low pressure system scooting across Quebec this week going to bring a line of possible thunderstorms through Ontario but rain and daily evaporation rains to continue monsoon rains through Arizona Watch for a possible snow in Colorado. High pressure ridge, pretty dominant across the West Coast. Oregon, Washington, BC, going through quite a dry spell. Overlooking the Atlantic, no major tropical storms developing in the long range. Only here through the Caribbean, and that's going to be making landfall possibly um, Thursday to Friday through Guatemala. Other than that, no major storms affecting. Pretty big snowstorm developing through Quebec. Wanted to give you here a quick look at temperature transitions in the coming days as we have quite a cold front coming down for this weekend. And then watch warm temperatures to shoot back up into northern uh, parts of Canada, Alberta. Overlooking Europe, you've got a rain train for the next few days 
spring is here and you're going to have a lot of rain on your doorstep as these low pressure systems come in through the United Kingdom and through parts of Finland. We've got a low pressure system here developing through the Mediterranean, going to bring stormy conditions to Italy and northeastward. Overlooking Southeast Asia. No major typhoons to talk about, nor tropical storms developing in the long range. One notable system there in the South Indian Ocean, but literally nothing to report. Overlooking Australia, you've got stormy conditions right now, right across eastern parts of the continent. And this will continue over the next few days as waves of moisture come shooting out from a very large low pressure system south of you. Watch for a storm to develop here in parts of New Zealand, and that's for the long range forecast. As well, a big system here developing for Tasmania could bring some even more rain in the long range eastern parts of Australia. Dry across west coast, but it looks like for the long range, you may have a little bit of relief. Other than that, look at the size of this system. Atmospheric rivers of moisture across both oceans right now. We've talked about these many changes before. Thanks for watching, everybody. Much love. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in and for your memberships. Much love. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.